guys. Hey guys, I'm gonna turn this around. I think Liz is gonna try to jump I like on. The oh my God. setup. <laughs> it has been a minute. I had to figure out how to do this. It's been a hot <laughs> a hot minute. Like guess what day it is. Is it, <laughs> it New York Rangers game day? <laughs> and you know, I I'd wear my jersey, but I'm flying out tomorrow, so it's packed and <laughs> I'm getting ready to go because I'll be at the home opener on Saturday. I am, so I am, I am so jealous. But first I need like I need a tour of what's happening in the background here. Oh, well I do oh. I always have my <laughs> ranger colors here. I don't I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't think I've seen the lights. Oh, well, to be honest, it's just my Christmas lights programmed to red and blue. <laughs> oh, that, that's <laughs> that I'm using, you know, on, on, on my inherited grandfather clock. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna little flag up there representing the rangers so i love it i gotta i'm gonna put this up this is my my decor for the day i haven't put it up yet because i still need to redo like our studio space where we started the season but i did get this this was a present Ooh, from my mom isn't that cool nice. so it cute. has all the different logo. you have all the different logo isn't that neat that's very, very cool yeah I, that's very cute. I think that's cool too i to figure out how to like where to hang this because I know I need I need like a little a better. Setup. I know. Like, uh, like we're 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 starting season three of Double Defense podcast. We're working our way into getting more professional on things. So we're going to see some good fun changes this season, everybody. It's gonna it's be gonna be it's gonna be epic. I think it's gonna be a shit ton more work. <laughs> so I, I see I see we have a Leafs fan. So uh, I think you guys are favored to win against Canadians too. So maybe maybe not. How do you guys think you're gonna do? It's like we're down, like day two of the season. Yesterday had some fun surprises. It was fun watching Utah Hockey Club uh, get their, you know, their season started off right. Scoring, get their first goal. Scoring in the correct goal. That that was helpful. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah. So that and that was fun. We, we, you know, we have our first female assistant coach that took the ice, you know, as well. So, um, you know, I think this is just gonna be a really fun season. Um, I learned yesterday too on the LA side. Again, we're reporting from LA. That um, you know, along with what we're going through as Ranger fans with Sam Rosen retiring, it was announced that Nick Nickerson is retiring as well. So yeah, you know, the the Kings and the Rangers are having a lot of parallels. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I would love to see them battle it out this year. <laughs> you know, together because it'd be it'd be easier for us too. So it'd be fun. <laughs> That saves a lot of time and effort. It would be fantastic. So, I mean, that'll be my bold prediction, you know, official now with our with our two listeners. <laughs> right now. You're, you're saying I know now it's going to be a on... Kings Rangers finals. Yeah. I, I saw the prediction. Somebody ran like a simulation through NHL 24, and the prediction was Oilers Rangers and the Rangers winning in the finals. And I can easily see that happening. I can too, because. They're gonna they're gonna fight they're gonna fight harder yeah and again they have inched just as close as we did so I can kind of see that too so we'll, hey, we'll see what up. happens when we have to make the real predictions on the on you know on the NHL app I think you got pretty far I was done oh uh, in one second. oh yeah yeah my my well I don't know mine fell apart after Florida um, Gaza's back has it is it me or is this felt like the longest off season of all time it it was. And I felt like, I think last season we kind of did things to keep it better. And here we just, there's a lot of nerves, a lot of, you know, look, we, we still have, you know, open questions on, on, you know, on Igor, uh, you know, for, for what remains let, this season. Let, let, yeah. Let me ask you, Christine, what do you, what do you make of Igor turning down um, $88 million? What do you make of it? I think he's smart. So I was talking with Matthew, who is my child, <laughs> and we were talking to and actually um, I kind of, and I remember he's 28, so I kind of was thinking if he was older, that was that's a long contract. So as soon as you want more, more money, less contract. I think he's going to want more money, less contract. But also, it looks like they're being they're in talks of potentially um, upping the um, the salary cap again, which would allow for more money. And you know, in in uh, so if he did a short term contract, maybe two years or something, you know, with a little bit more money. And I think I was talking to. Uh, you know, someone else where, you know, I think he's wanting at least more than Panarin, you know, so, um, yeah, you know, he's worth it. And, and even talking with the fact that I think our best run for the cup is 
this year, next year, because we just keep inching that much closer. We can't get any closer yeah. than getting there. So I think if that would happen and something fails, which I don't even want to talk about because that's not what I manifest, um, he may... I said, like, I think the way our phrase was, he's going to Tarasenko <laughs> to another team to get what he yeah. deserves. Because we're not going to have another Lundqvist situation. And I think that that long-term contract ties them up too much. You know, I think that the length is, is too long. I didn't have that as an option on our poll, but, but it kind of came, like, well, that was kind of like the other. You did have other. I voted for other because I also wasn't sure. Like, I don't know what the sticking point is. Like, I really don't. It, it could have been money. It could be something else. Like, there could be. And I also was reading that, like, Igor's agent only represents, like, a couple of players. Like, he's not super well-versed. I don't know. I've heard, like, weird things about his agent. So that maybe maybe there's something else that's at play. Maybe it's it's some kind of, you know, clause that's written in there that we don't even know. Oh, then, yeah. then, I, then I heard a whole thing about, like, was this purposely leaked? Who leaked the story? Why did they leak it now? And it'll be really interesting to see in the next couple of minutes what the fan reaction is going to be. Um when, he, when the game starts, yeah. Well, they're in Pittsburgh, so who cares? Yeah, well, then, <laughs> yeah. yeah true, I'm true. like, oh, I don't know what that's going to you know, that I forgot, awesome. yeah, you're right, not the home opener. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to hate him no matter what. <laughs> I mean, Pittsburgh's going to come out blazing, you know, today. So it's going to be a good, uh, a good game, you know. Just, just we'll start off with a win, and then, uh, you know, and then again, Saturday's going to be more fun because it's Utah Hockey Club in the house, home opener. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Shout out to Rangers Ed. I'll be traveling back. I know Liz. Liz is a busy mm -hmm. bee worker, <laughs> so this, you know, she's got to work. Uh, but I'll be representing uh, the, um, uh, the crew. Uh, meaning her and I, uh, at Madison Square Garden and probably Molly Louise before, which is my shout out. I do want to show you that, uh, oh, here, as we walk around my house, um, I do have things to give away. So <laughs> those are I, so fun. Those are so fun. These are a lot save, of, you have to make sure you save one for me. I have a few. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'll be, and I also have tattoos. So of our logo. So I got some tattoos and I got some fun. Let's go Rangers bracelets, uh, to hand out. So, um, I will be doing a post, but yeah, hopefully if anyone's listening to this or whoever's on here right now shares it, <laughs> uh, that, you know, it'd be fun. Cause if I find you, then we'll share and, um, it'll be great to see people, you know, rooting, um, the Rangers on the season. Awesome. And we're going to have some new, and we'll have some new double defense episodes posted shortly. We're in the midst of going through a little change on the back end. Um, we have a lot of new and exciting things in store, but uh, we're just Absolutely. a little bit delayed in, in getting all of that put together, but we're working I know on. we're just excited. There's a lot, there's a lot to talk about. You know, you've got the second season of PWHL coming on. You have, uh, you know, we're going to have Matt on talking early in the season to some potential maybe rule change. I'm going to, um, you know, uh, since there's only one person listening, it's going to be a secret. But um, some of the talk was maybe uh, shortening the preseason, adding, you know, by two games, adding those two games on to the regular season, which kind of evens it out. And so we can get into kind of talks like that along with, you know, some kind of other, you know, see if there's any other major people retiring, you know, as we've seen in L.A. and New York this season and how, you know, and how well. And how well the teams, you know, their, their own teams love them. It's, it's like how well they do, it's going to show. You know, so, um, so we're definitely looking for that. And, uh, and, and someone else kind of mentioned that maybe, um, you know, what would I ask what Igor was looking for? And, and, of course, someone's response was a goalie goal. And I'm like, well, <laughs> that's, that's always nice. our top prediction. Nice. You know? <laughs> so... Yeah, we maybe have to have that happen and then uh, double his salary. <laughs> maybe it'll maybe it'll happen tonight. I mean, the the door is not closed for sure. Like, there's still they they're still going to reopen the negotiation this season. So this is you know by far by far from a, a you know something that's over. Um, it'll just be interesting to see how it plays out. It, it's going to have to happen before trades start occurring. You know, for trade deadlines because yeah. they're going to need to know that cap space. So. Um, but, you know, he has this last year. He has time, you know, to to negotiate. Uh, anyone else, anyone who comments saying walk, um, I think you should reevaluate your um, your fan dedication to things. So he's definitely one that uh, deserves what he's asking for. And it's not just a matter of money. It's a matter of time and money and maybe some other, um, you know, contractual obligations that are in there that we don't know about. So, um 
uh, I don't think uh, he's going to take anything less than something that's probably the still one of the best offers. Maybe he wants. Maybe he that. wants Truba traded, and that's part of the. <laughs> I'm only half kidding. I'm only half kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, totally you know, kidding. before they do anything, you know, Kendra Miller has to teach all of them how to dress right. I think, so. okay, I'm sorry. That was not a great start for, for Rangers fashion this season. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking we never of, really topped the list. Uh, so, uh, well, speaking of Rangers eyes. fashion, this is, this, I have to share this. Look, look, Bushy ah, is sporting no, his, he's ready. Our double defense mascot. <laughs> he's ready for the season. Are you ready? Yes. Bushy looks sad if the Rangers are going to win. Okay, good. He's looking. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! We're there. <laughs> okay, so now it's time to chase down um, how we're supposed to watch every single game. So far, I think between ESPN and Max, um, I think for out of market games, which we are both out of market, I think I am covered. So that's a good start. Oh, good. Um, then I can just come over to your house. So I think I'm good too. Of course, so. always. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've definitely got the first the first week's games down. So tonight we got it. I'll be, you know, for anyone watching, and again, I'll post it as I'll be at the game on Saturday as well as Monday. I'll be in a, one of the boxes on Saturday with Rangers so, Ed Pod and friends, and then uh, in section two hundred on Monday with some friends. So, um, uh, so. That's exciting. Again, pregame at Molly Wee's, always, always, always. And um, and I might see if I can go stock out a couple players um, at the entrance. So uh, That's exciting. I know. I try to do that. Um, I feel the need to touch some hockey players. So it's, well, it's overdue, it's overdue, it's overdue. And, uh, and as I was saying last night, too, out there, anybody else uh, not prepared for the, you know, the, the coming of Emily? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, wait. I, 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 she's probably been practicing all season like, just to annoy you I'm, like i'm not i'm not prepared for her you know because uh uh yeah so i'm gonna try to avoid those as much as possible so uh so we got a couple games this week tonight's gonna be great we got pittsburgh um and then we play sunday monday thursday saturday so um, I will try to find a place to maybe watch in New York and then I'm going to head up to Boston for the next Saturday game. And then I'll be home watching it on TV with you after well, that. So That's awesome. I mean, I get back. So, of course, the the um, major events in the hockey season always seem to coincide with my big work events. So I have to be off to Europe again. Um, but I'll be back. I'll be back on the 24th and should be should be home. I just found the game. It was not on ESPN+. Plus. Um, it is on Max. And oh, for, it will, so for like today? TNT, yeah. TNT yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got nervous for a second because there were a couple of pregames that were only on Fubo, and I think at this point I've run out of um, email addresses to get. Uh, a free yeah, and honestly, I, I'll say too. We, we, again, we'll talk about this further too. But aside from not being able to watch it, I wasn't even. They didn't even have the radio announcing on there, so I could no, it, no, it was is, terrible. You know, I, there are times, and then of course you're like. There's not even a Spanish version. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> these are things at the hat and, and we'll talk about it more because some of the teams are are kind of going the YouTube, you know, public route too to be able to watch some of the games, including I think the ducks who are local here. So I like to kind of see how that becomes a trend, you know, throughout the season and if that really works. So um Totally so that's exciting. Again, just, you know, this is just kind of like even a preemptive, you know, kind of thing of some of the things that we would, you know, we're going to kind of talk about in the beginning of the season um, and uh, and kind of see, you know, and as we kind of get the season off and, and, and who's, and, you know, who's the breakout star in the beginning and then. Like, yeah. who And who are the surprises? I think we're going to see Mancini tonight. I don't know if we're going to see Rempe. No. Um, I, I Ed Rempe's Shrimp's for, on? Yeah. No, no, yeah. He's not on and Herrick. Uh, so that'll be that'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how this how this game goes, how it sets the tone, and what Laviolette is thinking. The lineup looks good. You, yeah, you got Mancini and Edstrom's uh, on there, and um, uh, anybody and Carrick. So these are kind of your newer players. Congratulations to Edstrom too for being the rookie of the year, which we posted it, and they, the rookies are in quotes because. He already has played, but he <laughs> truly was a rookie, um, you know, for this season. And then um, it was announced today, too, that uh, Sam Rosen um, 
has been an, an honoree for the Lester Patrick Trophy uh, honoree. So that's exciting. Um, and Good. that's just it's reward, you know, is awarded to you know what he's done. Um, you know with this stuff so that was you know so great day a great way to start that you know the season off the um the only acceptable way to really start it off um is with a um, win so uh again not up to us but, but for us to cheer and you know i kind of want to see how um how you know it's kind of like you know the, the owl getting to the center of a tootsie pop it's like how long before everybody just turns on the team <laughs> oh yeah it's already happening yeah don't go on twitter i mean it's already it's already terrifying <laughs> um okay i think they're about i think they're about to kick off oh are they doing are they oh, yeah. are they doing a um they're doing a good drove tribute, yeah. mm -hmm. which I'll probably see on Saturday okay. too. So yeah, everyone's doing well. that, which has been sweet. The other thing that's nice is the ones I've heard, everybody's actually maintained their moment of silence in the arenas for once in their lives. I hope so. so. Yeah. yeah, I hope so. I hope so. And that's okay. been the um, the interesting thing. So so very sweet. I, I don't know about the moment because I have my t my sound turned down, but it's very sweet. Yeah. So, so with that, anything? Yeah, it'd be nice. Edstrom's, you know, I like again Edstrom and MRB. I love. We have our tall guys. I want, I'm really looking to see some, you know, really good phys a physical season. We've got the people to do it. That's really what I'm hoping for most, especially as we get started and kind of, you know, get out of the gate and. Um, uh, and everyone's looking good. They've all yeah, been and have their good. hair is on point. <laughs> head, yeah. They're looking like, healthy. Hopefully, hopefully Panarin stays healthy. Hopefully Lindgren gets his act back together. Um, hopefully Heedle, they don't target him and he can actually go on to have a really good season and then hopefully future career. He'll be fine, you know. So, um, uh, so we'll, we'll see. It's more of a thing of we'll see who's out to get us <laughs> very quickly into the season. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, hi from oh, hi, Mr. Hatman from Sweden. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Rangers Man Cave. Thank you guys for joining us for this. Hey, Paul. We're, we're excited. Yeah, we're really excited for this season. Oh, um, Paul, I'll see you. Paul, I'll see you this mm -hmm. this weekend then. So, so jealous. I'm sure I'll yeah. text you. <laughs> so so uh, so yeah yeah. So again, everybody, welcome to. To the the new season uh you know let's get all the wins i'm watching everyone's predictions and stuff and you know it'll be fun we're i think we're going to try to get kind of our first episode like right before that you know the home game starts we'll kind of get into the fun things and uh we're definitely yeah i'm so glad it's back i feel so good about this yeah. i'm in my happy place yeah so you know so right. drink, drink pairings are beginning too so, you know, so day one of our new, you know, you, new season of drink pairings, which will try to be as creative and, and see how many ones I run across that are similar yeah. to what I've done before. <laughs> we'll, ha we'll have a good time with that. All Until right, Christine, we'll enjoy the game. Text me later. Bye, everybody. Thank Go you. Rangers. Go Rangers. Bye.